ด้วยปอมโอเควันดีดับโอเวดีโอเวดีโอเวดีตรงตรงนี้เอฟไอส์เล็กเดียดีฟี this was I was talking about synchronization profile provision profile okay now if I create one synchronization profile here So let me see. I am AT OIT sync profile. Tip OIT is I want to use this as a destination. Okay, meaning repository will come into my OIT. It will not go from my OID, so my OID is acting as a destination. So now see source. With whom do we want to synchronize it? Okay, so this could be any one of those. It can also be a LDF file. Okay, LDF file is nothing but a file which will contain the. It's a special format. It it is it comes in a different specially format. Okay, it will hold all the user information in such a format which directory our OID can read it. Okay, mm -hmm. meaning it will have C n equal to D n equal to in that format. Okay. So if you want to integrate your AD, so mm -hmm. you have to select Microsoft AD. Okay, then here you have to key in your Microsoft host and port details. Okay. Okay, and username some. Admin username to with which you can log into your AD to retrieve Sim. all the users' data. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Okay. So it will test whether it's able to connect to AD with these credentials. If yes, then fine. Then mapping. Take me to mapping. Mm. So I don't have AD right now. Correct. Correct. Okay. So I wanted to show you mapping actually. Mapping will actually map each and every parameter of your AD. Okay. So why it is not showing? I'll tell you a reason. It will pick the information from your source. Okay. And it will give me the attribute names in what format. The users' attributes are stored in your source, meaning okay. my AD. So Sam account name, mm -hmm. for example. Okay, mm -hmm. Sam account name is nothing but the name of your employee. So I want to map Sam account name in AD to CN name in my OID. Correct. Correct. So these level of mapping will be done in this mapping file. So the root level, the very first sentence in my mapping. Would be I want to map the namespace. Okay, so <laughs> let's say in AD it is DC. Uh, in AD I have Oracle dot com. Okay, so in my OID I will it should be DC equals to Oracle, DC equals to com. So I will map that first. Correct. Okay. Then one level down. So in that way I have to map the attributes. UID, GUID. So UID is nothing but the unique identification number of a user in AD. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be mapped to uh, GUID in my OID. So whenever the user is trying to authenticate, its UID and GUID should be unique. Okay. Should be same in AD and OID. Mm -hmm. If the user changes the password in AD. It means it is changing its credentials in AD, so those updated credentials should be synced to OID. Let's okay. say there is a change in address of an employee, and I have kept that 
property of address also mapped in my OID. So if okay. the user changes his address in AD, then the same change should be synchronized to my OID. Correct. Okay. If that doesn't happen, then OID will treat that user as a another user. Okay. okay. So these kinds of uh, updates, deletions, okay, should be synced. Let's say a, a, a user name Ram, okay, yeah. is there in AD. It is synced to OID. Everything is same. Now he left the organization. Okay. So his uh, profile is deactivated in AD. Mm -hmm. Now, after few months, again a separate employee, another employee with the name Ram is joined. Okay. And now there will be one more uh, user with Ram. Okay. Now this user may get conflict with the existing user in OID because the previous user Ram is deactivated in AD. So in AD. Ram will, there will be only one employee of Ram, but in OID there will be two. So Correct. we have to synchronize deletions also. Okay. So, so but that or, yeah. can can we uh, you know automate it kind of thing? Not no yes, not yes, not yes. automate not like uh, mm -hmm. no, like uh, run something after every 10 minutes or 15 minutes if an employee is there or it is not there or suppose I have changed my password, okay my network password. And it mm -hmm. should sync with my OID, correct? Mm -hmm. so, so can we do something like this? We don't have to do, it's already there. It, oh, we can okay. set the interval time, interval oh. check time in OID. So you can set it to 30 minutes, 1 minute, okay. 5 minutes, it depends on how fast your uh, updations, you know, it depends upon the frequency rate of your updations in AD. If it is highly active, AD is highly active and there are so many updations then mm -hmm. you can keep it uh, you know 15, uh, 15 minutes or so, correct, like, something correct. like that. Yeah. So that uh, there shouldn't be a lot of load on OID server. Okay. okay that way. So that is there. But I have, why I am uh, making this point is NG deletions were not synchronized. That's why the duplicate issues were uh, there. So in 11G also, you have to uh, set that kind of setting and mapping style. Yeah, deletions okay. should also be synchronized. So all these kind of mappings will. That's why mapping is very important in synchronization profile. If you are, sorry, if you are using AD and OID integration over here. Okay. Okay. Filtering again, if you want to filter out some things that this should not be synchronized or something that you can set here. Advance will just ask for your some advanced attributes if you want to key in any, okay, that's it. The main important thing is my general and mapping where I key in my AD credentials and map my file. So from 11G, it comes through Fusion Middle uh, where control you can, you know, integrate this, create this. You cannot do this through console, admin console. Okay. okay. So okay. I was telling that there are few things which uh, cannot be done through console. So this is one of them. One of them, okay. okay. And uh, so, how about 12C? How about? How about? Oh, there's no 12C. Oh. Yeah, it's not yet released. Okay. So after okay. release, give me a call. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in 10G, uh, this was not a GUI based or fusion middleware control. Cannot. Uh, you, there was no functionality to do this setting for GUI. So we had to create this map file. Okay. Manually create this and then run the synchronization command giving this map file as a parameter. So that was how it was in 10G, but 11G it's all on ticks. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is how your DIP server will work. Okay. You also have provisioning profile. Provisioning profile will get automatically created when you register your OID with some application. Uh, like if I register my OID with EDS, then provisioning profile will get created over here. 
if I do it with PeopleSoft, then by default, professional profile will get created here. After that, you can edit it.